Hey, what's happening, gang? Trumpeter Bobby Spellman here to welcome you to another polite and practical episode of... A couple of months ago, I released a video on a couple of tips and tricks for keeping the volume down when practicing your trumpet in your apartment or your house so as not to disturb your neighbors and still be able to get your practice time in. That video did better than expected, and I think there's a lot of you out there who are trying to figure out the best ways to practice so as to not disturb the people around you to make sure that you really get the time in and you can spend the proper time playing the trumpet at home. Well, since releasing that video, my friend Rodrigo hit me to some kind of a uh, little interesting tip for turning your Harmon mute into a practice mute. So Rodrigo got this information from trumpeter Glenn Drews, and I want to give them both a shout out for the information. But since then, I've talked to a couple people about this here in New York, and a lot of people have heard this tip. So I'm going to share it with you. I thought this was kind of fun. This is a very quick video, but it may come in handy for you. Not everybody has a practice mute, and sometimes they can be very stuffy and difficult to play. And, uh, you know, this will just give you the opportunity to just take your regular old Harmon mute and make it even a little bit quieter. So my biggest recommendation from the first video on practicing in your, in your apartment was to use a Harmon mute. The Harmon mute will cut your sound down quite a bit. It sounds beautiful. It doesn't sound typically much louder than just watching TV in your apartment. And sometimes your neighbors will think that Miles Davis is in the other room serenading them while they're trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Now the Harmon Mute's gonna get you pretty far in terms of being able to practice in your apartment, and that may still be your best bet provided you're not playing too late. However, there's a way to turn this Harmon Mute into a practice mute by plugging the hole in the Harmon Mute with this, a test tube stopper. Now, if you're not a scientist, and I'm not a scientist, you probably don't run into these very often, but a test tube stopper is a rubber, exactly what it sounds like, stopper to a test tube. It's got a tiny little hole in it right there, uh, presumably so that you can get the chemicals in and out of the test tube at your free discretion in the lab. Now, my lab is this studio here, and we don't have any test tubes, but we do have this Harman Mute. So what I'm going to do is take the test tube. It's got to be of a particular size. Now, I had to find these, so what I'll do is put the size, the proper size of test tube stopper in the description below, and you can check it out. I'll even try to put a link down there for... Uh, the some place that you can buy them. I got a pack of about 10 of them for not that much money, so it'd be much cheaper for sure than buying a new practice mute. So I'm gonna plug the hole of the Harman mute with this test tube. I'm gonna give you a sense for what it sounds like before I do it, and then I'm gonna put the test tube stopper in the hole of the Harman mute so you can hear the difference in sound. <laughs> Now, with the test tube stopper, all I'm doing is boop, just plug in the hole of the Harman mute with the test tube stopper, and that's gonna reduce the sound to this. For how quiet this thing could make it, this makes the Harman mute, I think I could put this thing on my trumpet and play in bed while my wife is sleeping and she probably would not wake up. And this is a pretty quiet approach to playing the trumpet. And if you're thinking to yourself, hey, doesn't that cause a lot of back pressure? Well, yes it does. And I tried to open up this hole a little bit with a drill and see if I could open it up a little bit. And it didn't really do all that much. But what I will say is it's still better than a lot of the practice mutes that I have played in in the past. So it's certainly a cheaper option than buying a new practice mute. Are there better practice mutes out there that will be able to reduce your sound down quite a lot and reduce the excessive back pressure? I'm sure there are. In fact, if you check the comments on that last video that I made about playing quietly, you'll find a couple of recommendations for people about practice mutes that'll do the job without making you feel like your organs are gonna squirt out because there's so much back pressure going back into your body. However, this is a very simple little way to turn your Harmon mute into a practice mute. It's very cheap. And honestly, there's much less back pressure than many of the other practice mutes that I've used. So there's a very fast little tip for turning your Harman mute into a practice mute, getting a lot less sound out of it, and enabling yourself to be able to play late into the night and get all those routines, those practice routines in without disturbing your neighbors or your wife or your dog or anybody else who happens to be around. So one more time, big thanks to Rodrigo and to Glenn Drews for hitting me to this idea about how to plug up your Harman mute with a 
Test tube stopper, I'll put a link in the description below and you can check that out for yourself. All right, gang, thanks for checking out another video here. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any ideas of certain things that you've been working on that you'd like to learn a little bit more about in the trumpet realm, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them and uh, cover some new topics every week here on the Ridgewood School of Music YouTube page. Happy practicing, gang, and we'll see you next time. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps in your pursuit of the majesty of musical self-expression. If you like what we're doing here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate your support, and we're going to keep putting out some new videos for you. The Ridgewood School of Music is now accepting new students for lessons online as well as in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. You can find us on our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com and you can send us a message and we would love to help you achieve all of your musical dreams. For some more musical fun, you can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram at Bob Spellman or in any of the other social media platforms listed in the description below. Thanks again for checking out this video. Happy practicing, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>